Hello, friends of Golf Course Quality Fertilizer. Well, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how we can uh, adjust our irrigation system within one zone. So, uh, you know, a lot of customers will have issues with one zone with trying to do these high rates, right? So everybody's used to doing 45 minutes. Well, you can get away with a lot doing this little bit of water. But when you're doing real watering, like we're trying to do this getting closer to a half an inch of water, going an hour and a half per zone, uh, then we're gonna come up with some issues of areas that might be too wet because it just is in the shade like this area and there's kind of a little low area. And then other areas in the same zone, it's actually pretty dry because it's out in the sun, it's on a hill. And so, you know, the same exact sprinkler in every location doesn't fit the bill. There's something you can do about that, which is pretty awesome. Not a lot of people know about it. Um, but you can actually change out the nozzles inside the sprinkler head itself and you can reduce or increase the amount of water coming out in that zone. So maybe you're doing the right amount, you're doing an hour and a half, but there's still a hill that's never getting enough water on it. You can increase the amount of water going in there by putting new nozzles in the sprinklers that are attention, uh, that are spraying that area or watering that area, right? And so in this case, we're gonna reduce it uh, this is a really easy process actually. You'll have to make sure that you get the same nozzles that fit in your head. This one, for example, is a Hunter uh, PGP, which is pretty common, probably one of the most common ones in home lawns. You use this fun little tool, you raise it up. I've already kind of worked on this a little bit because it was a booger and we had to stop filming because it wasn't cooperating. So, But sometimes it will be a booger and I'll tell you how to change a sprinkler head sometime soon, and that way you can do that if one's being too much of a booger for you. But typically they come with a three gallon nozzle in them, and these nozzle banks, this one in particular, goes from one gallon all the way up to 12 gallons. So you got a huge range, right? So we're gonna reduce them down to two. I always tell people, make small changes. Don't like change out everything at once. So in this case, we're gonna only change the back two sprinklers first, ride with that with one gallon less in each nozzle here and if it's still kind of wet then maybe what we'll do is change another nozzle of a third sprinkler that's actually hitting this area too so we'll kind of play that by ear but make small adjustments that way it's not severe now it's all of a sudden too dry back there right so small adjustments at a time all right so these can sometimes be a booger to get out this one was you typically do ruin your old nozzle when you're pulling them out i like to use a this, some of them have little knobs on them you can grab onto this a little easier with like a, a needle nose, but they'll just pull right out after you've lifted up your uh, Allen wrench. So there's an Allen wrench here and that was giving me issues too. So I got that all the way out. Now we're gonna put the two gallon nozzle set on here. Here's the two gallon. Now these are a different color. That's just probably because they're aftermarket, but that's okay. As long as they fit and they work, that's the important part. All right? try to put them in straight so that little knob is sitting straight up so you can tighten your Allen down into it to keep it in the head. Otherwise, if you don't tighten it back down, it's gonna shoot that nozzle out of the thing when you turn it on. Seat it all the way down in there and you can feel it's flat now. I'm gonna take this Allen and hopefully it still works enough to at least go down. Might end up changing the head eventually here. And this, this Allen here too can be changed so that It'll break up the sprinkler a little bit, so if you don't want it to shoot as far, you can use this little Allen wrench. This is an older head, so it's gonna be a little harder to get it to cooperate. So I have to peel back the top here and work it slowly down to hold that nozzle in. This is about the jankiest situation you could possibly come up with. <laughs> but you gotta know how to do it whenever there's a situation. You can see the Allen now. Down here, it's in front of that. And if you go further down, it'll actually break up the stream some so you can shorten up the distance on it, right? So we got it down in there. And then I'm gonna take off this little piece. If you can find this, this is great. It helps you change out the heads or you'll have to just hold it the whole time while you're messing with it. Hopefully your Allens and your tops, uh, and they do get beat up being in the ground and getting mowed over and stuff, but hopefully your Allens and your tops are gonna help you be able to work on that uh, as best as you can. But yeah, now it's reduced, easy peasy. Put her back down, we're done. And so we don't have to worry about as much water hitting this area. And over time, we're gonna see if it's still puddling or if he's still having grass kind of laying over in this area. And hopefully it'll improve the turf in this zone. Thanks for listening.